Like on the lead line. Good job for him here. Look at the battle here for fourth as Colin Brown takes the position away. Colin Brown has closed the gap on race leader. It's down to seven tenths of a second. See Colin Brown go by on the inside. And you can see Colin Brown closing quickly. And Colin Brown will drive by him on the outside. Look at Brown running through the middle there. He's going to clear Tom Brown. Side by side racing. Colin Brown on the inside of Green Star. The drive to perform. Green flag in the air for the final race of the season. Colin Brown made a nice move, made it three wide underneath Kyle Busch. The power to deliver. How about Colin Brown right here, just drove by that 51. And you see right behind him, Colin Brown trying to take a position away. The commitment to win. Colin Brown, he's up in the fifth spot in points. Exactly, Colin just needs a couple more spots. These are the marks of a fierce competitor. That would be Colin Brown riding in the fourth position. This is a driver that's gotten better and better as the year has gone on. Taking his game to the next level. I knew we'd have us a point battle of some kind tonight. <laughs> Colin Brown will gain two spots in the points, and that's kind of cool because not coming back to this series next year. Ready to be the next racing champion. The car of tomorrow is coming to the Nationwide Series. With that comes a new look. Today we got a glimpse of Ford's version of the 2010 Ford Mustang COT. It was unveiled at Roush Fenway Racing. This is the car Colin Brown will be driving. Definitely excited. Moving up uh, the ladder is always a lot of fun. And I think for me the biggest thing is racing against the cup drivers. It's learning as much as I can from those guys. Getting a chance to judge yourself off those guys. And I think that kind of helps you become a better driver quicker when you're racing against the best of the best. The Nationwide Series is always about tough drivers and you know always intense. And there's going to be some new challenges for sure, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. From his early days racing quarter midgets, international kart racing, and formula cars, to the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, and two full seasons behind the wheel of the number six Conway Freight Ford F-150, Colin Brown has always been driven to perform. Whenever I was racing, the thing we, my dad and I always talked about was exceeding expectations, you know, which I think is one way to get yourself noticed. We never had a ton of money to be able to go on like a full season or something, so we'd pick a few races here and there and really try to, you know, do well and try to exceed people's expectations. I'll have them go, wow, that was amazing, that shouldn't have happened. And uh, that seemed to work well for us. Year after year, series after series. Colin has tasted success at every level of competition, including a 2009 season which saw nine top five finishes, five pole positions, and his first NASCAR win at Michigan International Speedway. Kyle Busch checks up, Colin Brown goes by, he's got the lead. There you go, buddy, good job. Awesome, man, way to go. Colin Brown celebrating in victory lane for the first time in his young career. That was awesome, man. That was a pretty cool day, especially the icing on the cake, I think, was the fact that obviously Conway Freight's backyard is, is in Michigan, Jack Roush's backyard, Ford Motor Company. I think for our organization and the sponsor that we have with Conway Freight, that's almost like winning you know, a Daytona for us. You know, That's about our biggest race of the year. So that was one we certainly had circled at the start of the year that, man, we got to try to do as good as we can here. So to do that and have that be my first win was uh, almost like a Cinderella story. Now, Collins ready to begin the next chapter of his storybook career, driving into the fury of the NASCAR Nationwide Series. We'd like to be a top 10, top five contender week in and week out. Um, and I think we can do that. And I think the things that are gonna help us are having a good strong team, having a group of guys that have been together for the last two or three years. So I'm excited to keep that momentum going and work into the season. Not only is Colin taking his next bold step in racing, but he's taking it in style, bringing an iconic American car to NASCAR. Well, definitely excited to drive the Mustang. It was neat to unveil the Mustang to the public. I think a lot of the people were really taken back by what the Mustang looks like, all the brand identity that Ford's built into the Mustang. And, you know, I think the Conway Freight paint scheme certainly makes that Mustang pop. Colin is geared up for the next level of competition with a new car and a new crew. And he's proud to have his most devoted fans back in the stands for another race season. Well, I was really excited when I heard Conway Freight was gonna move up with me to the Nationwide Series. And I think we can really build on the momentum and the success that we've had over the last couple of years. It's really great to represent a company that's so focused on performance and certainly to have all the employees on your side cheering for you uh, makes your job a lot easier. And I feel like, you know, we've almost become like a family. It's neat to get a chance to go over there and meet with them and hear all the cool stories that they have or, 
the times that they've come to the racetrack and they remember what it was like going with their dad or their mom and it kind of re-energizes you about the sport a little bit. It makes you kind of feel like, you know, wow, this is something that's a privilege to do, something that's neat to do. And, you know, at times it gets to be just a job and you kind of take it for granted. But when those people come and you see the excitement that they have, you almost take a step back and really look at it and go, this is a pretty cool deal. Everyone at Roush Fenway and, and Conway Freight uh, share a lot of the same values with safety, integrity, commitment, and excellence. Those are all things I think both companies really strive for. Certainly with Conway Freight's uh, number one core value being safety, it's important for me in the Conway Freight car to be safe. Whether you're driving a race car, whether you're driving a truck, whether you're working on the dock, working at the shop, I think safety has to be your number one focus. We're all out there trying to do a good job, you know, trying to do things in a professional manner, trying to race clean, trying to do it in a way that I think shows a lot of integrity to other people in the sport. Here at Rosh Fenway, we're very committed to what we do. You know, it's a huge commitment to run it at the front in the Nationwide Series, and I feel like those guys do a tremendous job at that. And certainly me personally, I'm trying to do everything I can to be as good of a driver as I can and to help us win races and, and run at the front. Armed with the skill, the team, and the drive to win, Colin Brown is ready to take the NASCAR Nationwide Series by storm, determined to deliver. Our goal is definitely to win the Ray Best Rookie of the Year Championship. Um, you know, hopefully we can be a strong top 10, top 5 contender week in and week out, but the overall goal is to win the Rookie of the Year Championship, and I feel like with the team that we have, the experience that those guys have had the last couple of years working together, having that same core group of people together is going to make the transition for me uh, a little bit easier, and I think that's going to really help us win that championship. I wouldn't care if we were racing lawnmowers. I just want to race. Yeah.